Hello and welcome to day 17 in Nidite Lane where it's cold, it's dark and we've found a timber wolf. Um, actually, you guys come here. It's injured, so hopefully it won't take too much shooting. Okay, Spidey, can you stand here? And then the three of you, if you can target that wolf. It's got to run across a moat to us, so when they do eventually manage to hit it, Very good. Right. Um, Melon, you don't haul, so you can go back. Spidey. Um, actually, we'll hunt that. And Apple, if you can prioritise hunting that. Uh, Spidey. Hang on, which way is Apple going? Just follow round the back of Apple. Because that... If you can prioritise hauling that, that's a bit more dinner for us. Marvellous. Now, I wonder what's going on with those beavers. Are they still... Oh, there's the travellers passing through. Ooh, nasty weather to be doing that. So the beavers were over here somewhere. Ah, here they are. Okay. They're still over in that far area. They're not really affecting us. Right, how's our temperatures doing? Indoors, 17 degrees. Okay, so I think that's good for the plants to grow in. And down here, 18 degrees. Yeah, we're fine, I think. So they're brightly lit by the torches. It's not bright enough for the plants to grow by. Uh, that's why they need the sun lamp. But the brightness, well, it makes it nice for everybody else, but it does make it nice and warm. See, the animals are at 20 degrees, that's fine. And how are you doing? Still pregnant. And good, fed and rested. That's what we like to see. Oh, how about we hunt that raccoon? So yeah, all of the berry bushes uh, have now died, or at least the, any berries that were left on the berry bushes have died. The berry bushes will come back into life in spring, but all of this, all these berries uh, are not going to freeze. You just need to get Anubis and, uh, and Spidey focused on collecting them in, ideally. So let's do a little bit of that. What are you doing? Ah, he's actually holding berries around the place. Although it might be indoors berries, so how about... Can you do a bit of outdoors hauling? Ah yeah, we've got... Uh, told Nordic to start bringing in some more steel. Because... Um, oh, here's me. What am I getting? Oh, I'm going to do some steel mining. i tell you what, I could just bring in some steel. That would be a good thing. And... Yeah, we've got a fully built roof now. That's excellent. I think, is this still... Oh, it's counted as indoors. It's cold, it's minus... Actually, it's heating up a little bit now. Which is good to see. And the snow's being kept kept off sort of this main wood pile here. Oh, we'll let them refuel the torches. I think it's pretty important that we keep our torches refueled. In here, 16 degrees. Yeah, that'll do us. Well, we've got so much wood, it's certainly cheaper than uh, than putting heaters around the place. 
may has got plenty to keep him busy there. Uh, right, we really want to get this assembly bench up and running. Ah, that's exactly what I'm doing. Good stuff. Well, it's what I... I'll, well, relaxing socially. I'm in a good mood. I don't really need to relax. I'm all chilled out and relaxed as it is. Did make that for Hay, didn't I? Yes, I did. Okay. Um, I'll increase that just in case I start. Yeah, I'm storing hay in the freezer. Really don't want to store hay in the freezer. Uh, in fact, let's ban hay from the freezer. No hay. Taking up valuable space. Minus 13 outside. I think it's going to get colder than that. Uh, minus 24 in winter. Oh, where are these guys all going? Ah, mining. Uh, Caleb, you haul, don't you? You do. Leave these two because they don't haul. Good to see that Minty's got clothes. Tell you what, Nordic, can you dig that bit there? Let's see if there's any more steel behind there. I think that's Apple shooting at that raccoon. Oh, um, well, we can have that hair as well. I'd say get that squirrel, but um, it's kind of a bit close. People walking by, someone's going to get shot. Uh, what about those beavers? Let's see how we're doing for the beavers. Where are they all? Well, there's three down here, but where are the rest? The rest are all up there. We could get maybe these three. bit of a ways out but um, probably about time okay there's a bit more steel to mine there and there but I think we're coming close to the end of this little vein here carrying um could probably have carried a bit more than that but uh not to worry oh nearly there with the uh, component bench might help if we just put a couple of torches around the place here doing anyone oh good so the two the two dogs are obedience trained um, we don't want to train them or we don't want them doing either of those two we just want them to be trained to haul
Oh, brilliant. Almonds on the case. That means now we can build the tool cabinets. And... I think we'll build them... Maybe here and here. Gives us room then for something in the corner if we really want it. Right, I can... Here... Apple shooting. Okay, he's fine. doing for power we're storing more power than we're using although I suspect that won't last for long once we've got the uh, component bench up and running so maybe we should start thinking about extra batteries and or do we get an orbital beacon We could put an orbital beacon there and then when we've got a good place for it uh, we'll move it because we can they're one of those things that we can move um, where shall we put our comms desk would it fit it would fit down there yeah Okay, that's a lot of stuff to be built with steel. Let's make sure that they're mining steel. Okay, there's a bit more there than I thought there was going to be. Yeah, don't go butchering Nordic. There's, there's still some steel to mine. And as soon as you finish this vein, we'll just go for the vein that's a little bit further north. We'll start mining this stuff up here. And it probably would be a good idea to mine a little bit of this plasteel as well. Right, we're still people without warm enough clothes, ecky. making a parker. I think that's probably what he needs. Let's have a look at your gear, Ricky. Uh, pants, yeah. I think it's the duster that's just not warm enough for you. Okay. How are these doing? Well, they're coming on quite well, actually. Um, and I think, isn't this made out of steel? It is. So what we could do is to deconstruct uh, those steel walls there. I mean, as it is, I think they're probably getting our way. Um, Spidey, what you up to? You're hauling steel. Fancy hauling some berries in. I can pick up the steel. There's another steel thing there as well. Ooh. 
Oh look, um, I, th I honestly thought we would have been through with this by now, but we're not. Okay, so the tool cabinets are finished. So now we can start making components and we want to make components until we've currently got 20. We probably want to keep in stock something more like, yeah, 35 will do and keep it going until you have 30. So that takes us up to, yeah, yeah, yeah. If we keep between 30 and 35 is good. Now there's only Eki, I think, who can do this. So we need to change Eki's, oh, it's, it's smithing. Now, have we got anyone else who can tailor? So Eki was 12. What about Melon? Eight. Uh, Almond, but Almond's just so useful. I think we'll get Right, Melon, if you can take over the tailoring from Eki, and Eki, if you can uh, yeah, 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 you take over, I think it's smithing to do this, let's see. Well, Eki's sleeping at the moment. Strange time of the day to be going to bed. Oh no, okay, it's one in the morning. It's one in the morning, and that means it's the end of the day in Nidite Lane, where our plants are, look at that, 23 degrees indoors. That's exactly what we wanted. Real nice, warm stuff. 23 degrees in here as well. In fact, I might experiment with taking out some of these torches. I'm not sure. It might have just been while the temperature was building up um that we needed quite so many and if we can get away without burning through our wood supply quite so fast it'd be a good thing uh speaking of which we need to look at beavers and see whether or not the uh, there's any beavers wounded a little bit more a little bit close closer to our colony um getting the comms desk built and it's nearly done and we've got enough um enough components to do it. Ah, uh, six milk. Okay, I just thought it looked like an egg. I didn't know we had eggs. We haven't got eggs, we've got milk. Right, so taking stock, I think tomorrow's goal. For the guys who are mining, it's mining. Keep them busy mining. Um, and at the moment the focus is on steel because we're using the steel and we need to bring it in. Uh, I will start getting Minty um, harvesting. Minty and Calum will start marking some trees to harvest because we need to make sure that we keep our supplies of wood up. Um, and rather than clear cutting, it would be good if we could just identify which trees we actually want. I'm tempted to start building as our next priority um, another set of defences up in this corner here. Just so that if we get an attack from up here, uh, we've got somewhere to lure them into. I think it might be an idea. We could have it so that the the entrance comes across here and they walk into this area and then this will start to form part of our main sort of living area. We'll expand out as far as this marsh I guess. But anyway do join us tomorrow and uh, thanks for watching. Bye for now. There were four of them, all houses, together in Nidite Lane.
Together live Boris and Anubis. Anubis is always sorry about something. Next door came Minty and Nordic, and Minty really annoyed Nordic by calling him a beast all the time. And the next house was noisy, cause Apple and Melon always had domestics. But it was the fourth house that the police were interested in because Power Suit Sal kept me in the closet. They all lived together in Midnight Lane. A colorful place to be. We all live together on Nidite Lane. Although together is a little bit subjective. At Boris's and Anubis's, there was a man who could be sometimes mistaken for a hobo smelling of alcohol trying to climb the walls. But it's okay, because it was Anubis's Canadian cousin, drunk Spider Man, and a little sad as helper could be seen going house to house. It appeared when someone got tired of Almond, they'd just hand them on to the next surrogate parents. They all lived together in Midnight Lane, a colorful place to be. They all lived together in Midnight Lane, although together is a little bit subjective. It seems they pissed off the neighbors. Something to do with the peel P50 dragon children. But that's just Boris. No one questions him. Because that's what happens in Midnight Lane.